Good morning. Lots of you probably have wasp and hornet problems like I do, so I'm going to show you something that actually does work. I've tried lots of different ways, lots of different traps, but I finally found one that works and I'll help you by enabling you to purchase the same thing and control those hornets and wasps. Okay, get on the internet, get yourself some of these. They'll come in a box just like this. PIC, yellow jacket and wasp trap. Six traps, normally that's how you have to buy them, six at a time. So let me just show you what they look like really quick. Okay, this is what you'll get. And these actually work. Okay, so you've got the traps, you clean them all out, get yourself some apple juice. Doesn't matter what kind, but it needs to be 100% apple juice. I've tried sodas, punch, other kinds of juices, but apple juice works the best. And you only need about that much in there. What is that? Maybe uh, five, six ounces. You don't want to fill it to the point where, let me see if you can see these. See these holes? Those holes allow the insects to crawl in, and if they're able to get from the surface of the liquid back to the hole, they can climb back out. And sure, it's true that some will escape. I've even watched them figure out how to get back out, but I'm telling you, you'll get the majority of them, catch them, and let them die in the trap. Just for an example, this week, I set the traps on Sunday and cleaned them out probably Monday and I had 45 dead wasps. I'm only using five traps right now. I set them again and now it's Wednesday morning. I just cleaned them out this morning. I had 54 wasps in these five traps. So basically I killed a hundred wasps in four days. Well less than four days, really three days. So I'll set them again and we'll catch what we can get. Okay, once you've got them all filled with about five ounces of apple juice, Get hot dogs, cut them into small chunks, drop those into each of the traps. What you're trying to do here is provide both a sweet and a meat kind of uh, flavor that the wasps can smell <clears throat> and they will enter the traps. Hang the traps up in areas where you see the wasps visiting each day. They need to be above head height and generally in places all around the corners of your home. As it's distributed all the way around the house, that gives a chance for the wasps to smell it from a distance all around your home and come to these traps. Also, do yourself a favor. Get a hold of some caulk and find those places around your house that might have a gap that needs sealing. If you take away the places where the wasps can enter and find a place to live, you'll help to remove them from around your house. Make sure you seal up all those gaps even when you think you got it right before, come back and revisit and make sure that the wasps can't get into those spots and hide out. That's where they breed, build nests, make more baby wasps to come and mess up your day. Fill those gaps, no more hiding places for the wasps. Okay, so I set these traps about eight hours ago. Take a little look here. You can see there are, looks like three dead wasps 
and one trying to figure his way out up here but uh, none of these wasps are gonna get out and this is just in about eight hours a very windy day here today so didn't catch many but uh, we'll get them and there's the sealant we did this morning there's the old sealant I didn't go far enough now that's the so after about two days with the wasp traps hanging up and the apple juice and hot dog you'll start to get mold growing in there and the mold is nasty and that's why you clean it out and reset the trap but it's really not expensive apple juice and a couple of hot dogs you gotta clean that mess up but as you can see I got plenty of wasps killed them these traps work so well that after cleaning this one out this wasp is trying to get in even before I bait it. Go ahead and throw out the moldy hot dogs. There's not much more use for a moldy hot dog than there is a fresh one. And because you killed these bugs with nothing more than juice, you can find another use for them. Hi girls, look what I got for you. Look what I got for you. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You like them bugs? These good bugs. Eat them up, apple flavored crunchies. Okay. Best of luck to you. I think if you use the method I just taught you, you too can get rid of the wasps in your neighborhood.